The tagline for this is Gaming and Comics Had a Baby. And I heard that. Stars this. you. I saw that and I laughed so hard. Um, what does that mean? Because every time I try to look up the whole action yeah. graphic novel, there wasn't a lot about it. What is right. it about this new little mingle that is so different? Well, it's really, I'm not a big gamer myself, mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't know what the landscape is, but this game is really beautiful in that you, know, you follow a, a narrative, mm -hmm. so a graphic novel style narrative with gorgeous graphics. They're, I saw some of them. Aren't they amazing? Beautiful. They're beautiful. Dashong is the artist. He's incredible. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. And then there's a, a score that's stunning also. Um, so you have this, this graphic novel element, but then there's also combat. Mm -hmm. um, and you end up, because it's a kung fu story, and it's about defending your kingdom, mm -hmm. um, you end up in these combat situations, which you can like level, like yeah. easy, medium, hard, and then you can fight within that context. So it's kind of the marrying of those two things, mm -hmm. where you have like a bit of a choose-your-own-adventure story, along with like fighting. Mm -hmm. What made you want to do this particular yeah. This is something so different. What drew you to this in particular? Well, there were a few uh, reasons. I first of all, I thought the art was really what they had, what they show, showed me at the time was beautiful. Um, I liked the team. They're Toronto based. They're Canadian. It's a smaller company right now. Um, I like that. I like that. You know, I get to be a part of something that's made at home. And that, that means something. And the character herself was someone I thought who was aspirational and inspiring mm -hmm. versus cynical. And, you know, mm -hmm. not that I, don't, I like some cynical stuff, but yeah. I want, I, with games, especially because you're engaging in a game mm -hmm. and you're kind of putting yourself into it, I wanted people to be able to play something that was aspirational and hopeful. Great. That actually kind of segues into my next question. Yeah. What do you admire about Xu Yan and feel her character can convey to audiences? She is girl who has been given everything in her life. She's a princess. Mm. She she has everything. Um, and she had a lot of great qualities, you know, in the beginning. She's strong-willed, and she's smart, and she's passionate, and excited about Kung Fu, and, and she's like a nice person. Mm -hmm. um, but it's through this process of her kingdom being threatened that she has to really grow herself up. Mm -hmm. And she uses traditional Kung Fu in order to do that. So she has to go deep in order to find her strength. And I think that's true of all of us, mm -hmm. that we, in order to find our strength or our potential, we must like go deeply internal and really confront those parts of ourselves that are temperamental or ugly mm -hmm. or, or whatever those things are and, and transform them into something that is more rich and potent. Why do you feel diverse characters such as Xu Yan are important in gameplay specifically in this today's age? Well, again, I don't know the landscape fully, but if it's anything like film and television, yes. which I'm sure it is, <laughs> yes. if not even more male, Caucasian male driven, mm -hmm. um, I think that having females and having females who aren't white is very, very important. Um, I'm, I'm half Chinese. I grew up with very few people who were half Chinese. I never really felt it fully, mm -hmm. you know, but I think as I've gotten older, I've come to see more and more um, the limitations of representation as it is currently. Mm -hmm. And a game like this appeals to women and it appeals to non-white women, and it can bring us closer together. And this game, too, is interesting because I think it actually delves into traditional Chinese values and culture, mm -hmm. so it also broadens our understanding of the world if you're playing it, and you didn't have a sense of that before. You yeah. can develop a deeper understanding because we're so... We don't always research deeply. Mm -hmm. um, we rarely do in our social media age. And a game like this allows you, without you realizing it, to kind of research a little deeply. I love that. So like you already mentioned, um, Xi'an is really into Kung Fu and all of that. Have you ever thought about taking anything like that up, any kind of discipline like well, that? Well, I did. So my parents put me in every class known to man. Um, <laughs> but I did karate for a long time. Um, so th that is something mm -hmm. I practiced. Uh, it's a different discipline, obviously. Yeah. I did, like, kung fu for one class, like, one series of mm -hmm. classes. So, but karate, karate's a different beast. But I certainly did that for, for ages. 
it was a part of my childhood experience until I was like in 10th grade. <laughs> yeah, my mom did it after I was born and she loved it. She would come yeah. home and try and kick my dad up, or like kick my dad's butt and anything. And it's like, okay, Alice, that's enough of that. Yeah, but it so. is, I mean, karate, and I think that kung fu is similar in some ways, but you learn a lot of discipline um, and you learn respect <laughs> and you understand. It, it's about honoring your elders mm -hmm. also, and that's a big part of the culture, being able to like see your masters or teachers or elders or parents and value them as important. And so I think that's, you know, also what she is learning. Last question. <laughs> um, you've done a lot of fantasy work mm -hmm. with this, with Beauty and the Beast, with Smallville, all of that. What is one career goal that you still want to achieve for yourself? Oh, God. Well, I really <laughs> want to... Apart from acting, I really want to produce. I want oh. to be able to create the stories that I'm most interested in. And I'm starting down that path, but it is a very challenging journey. Um, it's hard to, when you're most known for one thing, it's really hard to get out of that. And to build a skill set in another direction. Like you spend the majority of your adult life doing one thing. Like, am I good at anything else? Probably not. <laughs> No, I totally disagree. Like, personally, my education base is in healthcare, and right. I am not happy. I picked up, I quit That's my job, crazy. and I'm changing to more of this role. It's just, nobody That's is... That's a big shift. Yeah, I'm terrified. Yeah, nobody See, easy is, about right? Yes, nobody <laughs> is just good at one thing, so yeah. I, yeah, yes. definitely But you've got to build it. the skill in yeah. the other way. Just Absolutely. It. And you already have the experience on sets. With the acting, yes. you know how to do it. It's true. You'll do it. Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> no problem. Just remember me thinking, oh my god, I quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right.